Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. Today, my friends, it is the last Sunday of the year, actually. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time uh, this late in the year, you know, with Christmas and upcoming New Year's, because I'm about to ruin it for you. <laughs> Anyways, this is gonna be the first time that I'm actually testing a CPU here in the channel. Hopefully next year I'm gonna be able to bring you guys more CPU tests and APU tests as well. But yeah, today we're not testing a GPU, we're not testing an APU or integrated graphics. We are actually testing that Celeron G550. That's a dual core, two threaded CPU. I paired it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2400 megahertz, but they're down clocked to 1066. 6 megahertz, I believe. That's actually the maximum frequency that the Celeron allows on the RAM, so at least it has dual channel, hey? Looking at you, goddamn A9-9425, that was absolutely terrible. And I also paired it with that RGB goodness, that's a GeForce GTX 1080 Strix Edition. It's just so we don't have any GPU bottlenecks, although we'd probably also not see any GPU bottlenecks even with the 750 Ti, but if I have to pick a GPU, might as well pick one with RGB, right? Like, yeah, that, that will definitely help it. No kidding, guys, it was super painful to get this thing ready. It took me a full day to install the, the games, you know, because every single game took like two hours to install because of the CPU. It couldn't keep up with the internet speed or the SSD speed, so... Oh boy, <laughs> let's get into it, shall we? And here we go, we're now in the desktop, you can see the GeForce GTX 1080 there in MSI Afterburner, that doesn't matter at all, by the way, it's, it's only there, as I told you, to avoid any GPU bottlenecks, so we can test the CPU properly. Over in CPU-Z, you can check out all of the CPU specs, and uh, it's a 65 watt CPU, basically, from the second generation of processors from Intel, Sandy Bridge, 65 watts, man, for two cores in two threads. <laughs> a Ryzen 5 3600 and an i5 11400F are also rated at 65 watts and those are six core 12 threaded CPUs. Ah, we've come so far my friends. <laughs> and just so we have a little bit of a reference here I'm gonna compare it to the Core 2 Duo E8500. 3.16 gigahertz, two cores, two threads and it's an older CPU of course from 2008 I believe. Um, so let's benchmark the CPU here. Apparently in uh, multi-core performance, it's slower than the Core 2 Duo. That's not a strong start. <laughs> and the single core is also a little bit behind. Uh, this is gonna be painful, guys. <laughs> First up, we got Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the low settings with ultra textures and high TAA. Uh, those aren't really CPU intensive settings anyways. And uh, I chose this game to be the first because it actually runs pretty well in lower end CPUs. Okay, that actually didn't took too long to load. Interesting. And um, okay, <laughs> it is completely unplayable, of course, as expected. But I mean, it's not stuttering. The CPU usage is at nearly 100%. It was at 100% when we loaded into the game. Maybe it was just loading thing. Yeah, never mind. Uh, it needs to load things pretty much everywhere <laughs> you walk. Roach, get over here, boy. You know what? I expected worse. To be honest, guys, I really expected worse. We we are using 20 something percent of our GPU. The game is not a stuttery mess, and we can actually get up to like 20 FPS, 23 at times. Yeah, this isn't that bad. I prefer this experience to the GT 710's experience, at least. You can play this with decent graphics. The 710, I think I played with the 360p resolution or 300p resolution and got the same FPS. So, hey, it's 1080p. It looks great, actually. Oh, God. I keep mocking the 710 even in a CPU video, guys. <laughs> Next up is Apex Legends, and for some reason it's in Portuguese, but you guys understand, right? Like 1080p, lowest settings, because everything's set to the lowest there. Okay, all right, it shows for me, so I don't need to do anything. It's a smart processor, guys, see? <laughs> Apex Legends, my friends, you can get to, to the menu at least and uh, to the screen where you choose the, the characters, but hey, I don't think you can play it. Oh, it's moving now. Okay. 
Okay, two FPS. Oh my god. Apex Legends is completely unplayable with a dual core CPU. Maybe it's still loading. We we gotta believe, you know. Maybe it's still loading. Okay, down here it's it's much better actually. Yeah, it was definitely still loading. But it it has a ton, a ton of stuttering issues, guys. Look at this. It's completely horrible. See? Red Dead 2 wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs> now the question is, can we actually get a kill or something? <laughs> because this is not totally horrible, like um, I, I can move around still, maybe shoot some things, yeah. Oh my god, it is really bad though, 1% loss at 6. I hear somebody, guys. Oh boy, oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, come on, come on. No! That was unfair. Alright, the second time around is much better. We're not getting 3 FPS, well, sometimes we get 4, but still. Whoa, what the hell? Oh boy, oh boy, don't want to go there, tons of them. Okay, it's still horrible though. <laughs> it's not gonna load to a point where it's gonna be playable, obviously, but hey, this is better than what I expected already. Oh my god, don't stop, don't stop like that, please, buddy. This is our last chance to do something in Apex. They actually got one of the squads already. That's bad. Uh oh. There's one. Yeah! Get! Ah! Almost got him, guys. Ah! I was ready to say get wrecked, but then we got a massive stutter. Anyways, 25 FPS average and 41% lows. That was. Yeah, that's awful, but hey, you can move around, I guess. <laughs> and now we're testing Dota 2 at the 1080p resolution using the lowest settings with 100% render scaling. And let's start uh, watching this. This is not, of course, me playing the game, but it gets pretty much the same FPS as uh, real-time gameplay. I let it run for a couple of minutes already, though, because, well, I want everything to load properly. It was just a stuttery mess at the beginning. It's still somewhat of a stuttery mess here, um, you can see it in the frame time graph of course, but it's not too bad to be honest guys. I mean, you can play the game like this. Of course CPU utilization is always going to be at 100% usage, so there's not much you can do about that with two cores and two threads. This game used to run way better than this back when it launched, that's for sure, but hey, it's a Valve game, so they actually broke it a little bit in lower end specs right now. But still, I'm not really sure what I was expecting here in Dota 2, I think this is pretty much it. A couple of stutters that don't really impact performance all that much. Yeah, FPS do drop from 30 though a little bit sometimes. Oh my god! It stopped. This could be playable. Not for a competitive person, but it could be playable for some people, for sure. Ah, <sighs> So, guys, I've been waiting for this game to load for like 10 minutes just to go through the settings and set it to very low settings and then restart the game and then I had to wait another 10 minutes so I could press enter to actually start the game and then I waited 45 freaking minutes for it to load everything, it was saying loading, optimizing, whatever, it was from 0 to 100% and it took 45 minutes and now it's it's been like this for like 10 minutes, so I've, I've waited a long time for Forza Horizon 5. It just doesn't work, guys. It also crashed once before, so... <sighs> okay, it just completely stopped. It Yeah, CSGO's system requirements still ask for a Core 2 Duo E6600, which is worse than this Celeron CPU. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that it actually works properly, but it has had a lot of updates and it's way more intensive and they just didn't touch the system requirements for some reason. 1080p, low settings. I also disabled the 3D audio processing, which is CPU intensive. Well, at least it didn't take as long as Forza Horizon 5 to load. Oh, oh, wait, what? This is playable. Oh. Okay, so maybe the system requirements are still true. Oh my god, bot trick, what the hell? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, it's bot trick. <laughs> nope, I got you, boy, I got you now. Oh god, I'm not from behind, dude, come on. All right, you know what? This is playable. It's not the best thing in the world, 
But hey, it is a playable experience and... Whoa, what? Oh, he was disguised as blood. Oh, wait, is this bot Rick? No, this is bot Chad! Come on, all right. Come on, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh cuisine. <laughs> That's a food here in Portugal. Anyways, I did not expect this, guys. I gotta get used to this slightly higher sensitivity still. Uh, but I think I'm doing a good job. Yep, yeah, this works. Hey, yeah, you know what? After playing all of the other games today, this isn't too bad, guys. I mean, it's playable. I, I, I usually say that 60 FPS doesn't feel very good in CSGO, but today, this is a dream. <laughs> uh, and it's not even 60 FPS. <laughs> oh, stutters. Oh, God. All right. Ooh, over here, it gets really bad and stuttery, guys. What? Where is he? Oh, there he is. <gasps> I missed. No. All right. No, Kuzid again. <laughs> oh, oh, God, massive stutter there. I missed everything. Okay, we got the guy, though. That's good. Mm, it's really hard to hit those flicks, you know, with 50-something FPS, but it is not impossible. I am actually kind of surprised that I'm still able to play with the op. You know what? The higher sensitivity than usual actually helps it with low FPS. I'm seeing that now. Like, I am able to, to hit those shots much better with higher sense uh, at low FPS than with low sense at low FPS. Come on. Oh, there we go. Still hit the flicks here, guys. What the hell is happening? <laughs> I, I guess, surprisingly, the system requirements are still kind of accurate, at least on the CPU side of things. A core to duo should be able to play this game above 30 frames per second. So if that's what they're targeting with the system requirements, that's correct. Okay, time for GTA 5. We're playing at 1080p, DirectX 10, using the lowest settings, and I disabled the shadows as well. Maybe that's a little bit CPU intensive, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, might as well turn them off. In the config files, everything's turned off right here. Let's go. Oh, finally, finally, and it's, it's not loading. Come on, game. Come on. Okay, maybe when everything loads, it's going to be great, <laughs> but what the hell? Oh my god, what? Look at this! What the hell? Come on, can I... Can I please get my cars? What? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, everything is loading in now. Yeah, okay, except for the stairs, but who needs stairs anyways? Ramps are way better, right? Okay, so I expect tons of stuttering and... Oh! Exactly like that. Uh, and bugs all over the place, like the ground disappearing and stuff like that. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh, where are we? What? Hello? There is something that you can actually do to make things better, and that is locking your FPS. If you lock the FPS to 30, it should actually provide a pretty decent experience without these things. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, let, let's do that. For that, you just need to go to the settings menu and um, over to VSync and set that to half. And now they shouldn't really move that much. Maybe we should still see a, a few stuttering issues here and there, but yeah, there, there is no ground disappearing anymore, which is great. Uh, the CPU usage is still at 100%. Yeah, don't don't see the CPU usage while driving. It's not a good idea, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's not too bad right now. You know, it is perfectly playable. I could have fun like this. I remember my brother actually had a G1840 CPU. Sorry, yep. only a couple of them have been injured yet. <laughs> No, no, don't you die! Oh, what god damn it, okay. Alright, but what matters is this game is actually playable as long as you just lock your FPS to 30 and as long as the CPU can actually uh, reach 30 FPS because if it can't, of course, it, it's, it's, it doesn't matter locking the FPS. Anyways, hello Jack, how's it going, boy? I am glad you're here today. It's Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, my friend. Uh, it's been lovely. It's been a lovely year with you by my side or running away from me, actually. And also, where's Bob? Bob? He's not here. Where is Bob? 
bastard ran away. And now let's play Valorant. CPU utilization is already at 100% in the menu. That's not a good sign. We're playing at 1080p resolution using the lowest settings. And actually, we might want to turn this off and turn this all off right here. Will it even join the game at this point? What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh! 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 What? Oh, okay. It's good. Okay. We're good now. Maybe it was just loading, as always. <laughs> okay, so 70s and 60s. That, oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. This is really bad. 1 FPS, 1% 1 low. So you definitely want a, a, a dual core with four threads at least in this game with hyper threading or SMT. This is absolutely terrible. We need to try to lock the FPS here. So maybe 230. Let's try that. Or 45. You know, 45 is, is better than 30 for sure. So, okay. This is much better. Can we get 45 all of the time with less stuttering? I don't think so. It's still stuttering like hell and it's still not at uh, 45 all of the time. So maybe 30 is the way to go here, guys. This sucks. Oh, boy. Okay, 30 FPS. Not even 30 FPS will save it. It's still fluctuating below 30. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. There we go. Haha. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I still got him. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> what the hell? Also, look at the GPU clock speed. 139 megahertz. What the heck? So this is Minecraft, guys. And uh, apparently loading the settings takes a little, little bit of time. Look at that. Yeah, it's weird. So this is the Bedrock Edition as well from the Windows Store, or Microsoft Store, actually. Uh, so it's less intensive than the Java version. And we're playing at 1080p using the low settings once again, but with 10 chunks of render distance. Oh, the FPS are locked to 60, but it's probably for the best, because if they were unlocked, we'd probably see a lot of stuttering issues. It's good to see that uh, although the CPU usage is nearly maxed out, and sometimes it is maxed out, we can have a somewhat decent and smooth-ish experience here. Yeah, this is an alright experience in Minecraft. You can definitely play it, absolutely. I think it's running better than with the Intel HD 2000, for example, and i5-2320. Um, so yeah, of course we have the GTX 1080, but remember, you only need a GPU that's capable enough of getting these FPS, not a GTX 1080. We're using 12% or 11% or 9-8% of the GTX 1080. It still takes a while to render the chunks, though. <laughs> If you pair it with like a GeForce GT 610 or 710, it should be absolutely fine. You should get around the same FPS. Yeah, just running around the map, FPS seem to be kept at like 60 because it doesn't need to render the chunks fast. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good actually. It doesn't stutter too much either. Look at that frame time. It's, it's all right, right guys? I mean, compared to everything that we've seen so far, I, I am extremely happy with these results, to be honest. All right, Battlefield 2042 apparently doesn't work. I click play, there's the easy anti-cheat thingy there with the, the image, and then this happens. Black screen every single time. You can't play this game with a dual core CPU, apparently. I mean, it's not a good idea even if you have a quad core CPU with eight threads, because those are struggling a lot in this game. So dual core with two threads, well, of course, nothing good is coming out of it. <laughs> I, I'm actually glad it crashes, because otherwise I'd be uh, playing with like one FPS. I don't like to play games with 1 FPS, believe it or not. <laughs> and since we're playing very intensive games now, we got Cyberbug 2077, or Punk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's click play. I, I, I think it's going to crash just like Battlefield. Oh, 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 I was wrong. This actually kind of loads and stuff. We got some sound. Is, isn't it supposed to? Yes. Okay, so the sound is, is, is normal, but the image is going very slowly. Why is it set to ultra by default? <laughs> oh 
my god. All right, you know what? Let's go with the least FOV possible. This is it, guys. Okay, target FPS 10. Yes. <laughs> I, I swear, if this takes more than 10 minutes to load, I, I'm just going to give up, guys. I'm seeing 69% usage on the CPU way too often there. Is the game mocking me or something? Like... Now 70 per 69 again, 69 again, see 69, <laughs> what the hell? Well, I guess this is Cyberbug on a dual core. A black screen with 120 FPS, at least the FPS are really good, right? So can't complain about that. And the, the percentage on the CPU as well, that's it, always amazing. Ah, yeah, this is a sign. You should probably just close your eyes and dream that you're playing Cyberbug instead of actually playing it with a CPU like this. Three! Two, one, ten minutes, and it's still the same. I really, really hate this CP. <laughs> And finally, we got Fortnite Battle Royale. I am not gonna accept you, you guys' requests because I, I'm gonna ruin your games, I'm sorry. So we're playing this at the 1080p resolution, you can see it right here, using the performance mode and the lowest settings, of course. I'm surprised that it actually loaded into the game this time around, or into the lo lobby screen, you know? Because I was waiting for 30 minutes, like it was stuck in connecting for 30 freaking minutes and this is what we get of course this is perfect oh wow amazing experience okay this is to be expected because it literally freaking stopped right now it i, I can't all right oh my god the sound is gone as well right now i have no sound anymore i think it's broken like it's just yeah, I guess we're getting into the battle buzz. That's that's what's happening right now. <sighs> yep. Okay. Well, at least we're here. All right. I didn't expect to see the battle buzz, actually. So this is great. I'm going to drop down there. What? Wait a second. We were back there. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So the i5-2320 was stuttering all over the place in this game. Oh, the sound. The sound is delayed as well. Ah, okay. This is absolutely terrible once again. Amazing, guys. Oh, it's, it's just amazing to me, actually, that this, is, this can be this terrible. I think this game was um, playable on dual cores once upon a time. Not anymore, obviously. It just completely sucks right now. There's a guy there. Oh! Oh! We got one! What the actual hell? We actually got one! I mean, it could be playable for a little kid, you know, that doesn't know any better. Uh, but he will be at a massive disadvantage. If, if you're a parent watching this and you're thinking of buying one of these old Celeron uh, systems to, for your kids to play Fortnite with, don't. He's gonna turn into a murderer. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's even worse when you're actually playing the game instead of watching. <laughs> okay, it just completely stopped again. Perfect. Beautiful. You know what? I, I actually also tested Warzone. Tested. I, I spent like 30 minutes waiting for it to load and it just didn't load. So I couldn't play it. Um, yeah, we're just going to skip to the conclusion of this video and leave Warzone behind. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see Warzone separately. Actually, please don't say you want to see Warzone separately on the CPU. <laughs> All right, let's get to the conclusion then. So I'll conclude with this. If you are a very, very patient person, and if you are one of those people that just doesn't know what to do with their time, you know, that you have too much time in your hands, this is definitely for you. You will be days waiting for the video games to install on the computer because the CPU just can't keep up with the internet speed or the SSD speed so it's actually bottlenecking my internet and then you're gonna spend hours waiting for some of the games to load properly and to, to actually load the menus and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one very soon and I will probably sell this seller in CPU I just don't want to see it anymore you know it's it's horrible it's horrible i'll catch you in the next one love you all bye bye